Yeah, for training, it's hard working every day. It's terrible. <laughs> we had a picture of Bruce Lee up on the wall for uh, for Rand to look at, and we said, "Hey, that's that's where you're going. That's what we need." I think he picked up faster than anybody we've ever worked with, and more importantly, I think he really wanted to go through the training. He has a lot of demands, a lot of physical demands in this role, and I'm trying to prepare him for that. Yeah, I'm absolutely sure people won't believe that that's his body, that we digitally altered him, you know? Ah, I'm telling you, what you see on the screen is what you get. It is the real deal. There's no way to make this movie without, without Ray. There would have been no way. Oh, we just started. Dave Leach uh, just approached me and said, hey, we've got this uh, Korean pop star. I know. We started. Who's huge, and we're going to cast him in our ninja movie and need you to train him up. So that was the first time I've heard of Rain, actually. I knew nothing about Rain. I had no idea who Rain was. And I'm like, Rain? My name is Rain. Uh, my real name is Ji Hoon Jung. I'm an artist from Korea. It's only like about halfway through the movie I started like I thought, oh I'll check out Rain on like YouTube and then saw like his concerts with like thousands and thousands of people, you know, it's just all turning out to see Rain and I just didn't realise what a huge star he is. This is my first Hollywood film, you know, <laughs> main title role. I'm so happy. Chad was the one who found him. We had to do uh, a small fight scene that they'd written in the script, The Speed Racer, and he comes back and he's like, dude, this guy's good. He had good physical aptitude, but he had a great mental capacity for the action. I think it's more important. Training with Dave and Chad was great on Speed Racer, but there is a um, level of training that is so much more advanced and difficult. We have training sessions every day for three to five hours, and he was trained as one of the guys. Not, hey, let's show up and train Rain. He just showed up, and he was trained with the stuntman. I think um, my performing ability has really helped me, you know, train. Shake, shake, shake. He comes from a choreography background, which is learning the moves, memorization, and how to express and perform during those sequences. It was pretty natural for him to change the flavor from a, a aesthetic of dance to an aesthetic of action. <laughs> Chad and Dave, who were training him down at their facility, started watching him develop, and then he really got into the mindset of becoming like this physical being that could be in the movie. I've been training six hours a day for uh, six months five hours on martial arts, and one hour on total body fitness. Two push-ups, 20 seconds, two push-ups. Down, hold, hold, good. He was motivated, you know, this was a big movie for him. He wanted to do well, so guy comes in with the motivation and he, he learns well. You can't really ask for much more than that. For us, for martial art films or for big action films, the cast has to be in great shape. Just to endure our training, the martial art training, the choreography training, the long days on set, and actually being able to perform at their optimal level. Rain was very disciplined. He made a pretty quick transformation and leaned out pretty fast. You can start like that. We think of it as instruction that keeps it interesting, that keeps it creative. And so every day, Rain isn't quite sure what he's in for. And uh, usually it's a bit of a pounding. We got him away from kind of the bodybuilder mentality of the this isolated muscle groups and got him doing just more full body kind of stuff. Um, you know, moving his, his entire body, moving bigger weights than he was accustomed to lifting. It's any number of minutes, I would say, in the 10 minutes to 40 minutes, all inclusive, with the warm up. Something usually pretty intense, heavy and then I cool down. I'm, I'm trying to balance, keep him healthy and strong. The change happened pretty fast because his body was receptive to everything. 
So far, Rain has really shown a discipline that I've never experienced before. He just comes into the gym ready to go. Just complete dedication, you know, he's like on, on the program, you know, and so much so that, you know, he jokes about, you know, once he finishes, you know, like on the day that we finish, he's just gonna eat noodles and drink beer and smoke cigars. struggle a little bit. I'm very sore. It's horrible. I'm not sure if the before after picks are, are floating around, but you know, it's pretty dramatic. They put him through the ringer and he held on and he was trained like a stuntman. So when he was thrown in, the ability to change and the ability to to adapt to the situations and the changes that filming procure, then he fell right in. It's a big film, so I'm every day for working. He's very talented. He's not afraid to like get down and dirty with all the fights, and you know, get in there and tr he trains his ass off. He has the ability to be a stunt performer on anybody's team in Hollywood. I mean, he's definitely at that level. His ability to remember choreography and long sequences is far and above the best I've ever seen, even among stuntmen. Ready, wait. We work chains, single and double swords, you know, shuriken, and of course, I had to learn to uh, use them with falls and rolls built in. Uh, very difficult, you know, but it's fun. For this movie, because we had such a tight schedule and there were so many creative influences, we knew on the day he was gonna have to be able to learn 25 moves and shoot them in one shot. The thing was, with Rain, he kept getting better, so we had to keep re -choreographing. We had choreographed originally, he grew far out of that choreography by the time we were ready to shoot. So we just had to keep building up the sequences. At first it was five cars, then we're like, well, let's bring in 50 and see what happens. At first it was like just over one rooftop, maybe two rooftops, then we ended up getting a location like the safe house to really put him in in extreme situations, in extreme environments. Our doubles, I'm not going to ever uh, short side them. They were great. But everything that they could do, minus some of the hellacious wrecks, the boss did, the, the rain did. He's, he's a special, special character. He's just all about making the physicality of the film, which is, you know, essentially what I wanted be near, you know, to perfect as it can be, I guess. He's a great athlete, you know, and he dances well, and he moves well, so I think uh, he's gonna beat me. We had a very talented individual who is capable of doing some cool stuff. I think people believe more in human ability than they do in any kind of camera sleight of hand or visual effects sleight of hand. So we found somebody that's truly very talented. We put together a super stunt team and kind of relied on human talent. I think you can feel Rain suffer a little bit on screen, as he sure did behind the screen. Rain enjoys falling down, he enjoys taking a hit, and nobody looks better as bloody as he does. You hear little whispers of the next Bruce Lee. He's certainly gonna look like that. It's been challenging pushing myself to a degree uh, that I would never have imagined. And it's hard, but it's amazing. Usually, Rain, it's the other way around. Usually, the, the, the Asian guy is stretching the white guy. But the next time, I get to eat a little bit of chocolate Everyone's in a while. Chocolate, rear. Oh. Action. <sighs>